mandate for another month. And at the same time, this Gulf Cooperation countries, that's all the countries of the, of the Gulf, have called on uh, the uh, UN Security Council now to take up the issue uh, and uh, take tough action against Syria. Now that, again, is more pressure, uh, not just on Syria, but particularly on Russia and China, who until now have been vetoing UN Security Council action. And that's another illustration, of course, about how divided the Arab League is, because only a couple of days ago the Arab League did extend the mission uh, and did not refer the issue in, this, in, this, in these terms to the UN Security Council. So the Arab world is now ever more divided over how to deal with the Syrian crisis. Yes, and we heard from the Arab League head only yesterday in a news conference saying he was claiming that the violence had fallen to some degree whilst they were there. Of course, that mission was massively criticised in any case. That's been the claim from the Arab League, from the head of the Arab League, that he would admit it's not a perfect mission, but he says that at least while they are in place, while they're at a certain location, uh, they give a degree of security and protection uh, to protesters out on the streets. And I think that's what, uh, obviously, my colleague Jeremy Bowen has been hearing also in Syria, that there's not complete condemnation uh, there from the opposition people he's spoken to about the, the mission, because when there are monitors around, the Syrian authorities or whoever are attacking the demonstrators are much more wary of actually going on the offensive. Nevertheless, it's been bitterly criticised by many other members of the opposition, uh, who, who b basically believe that even if it provides some little short-term relief for protesters, its net effect is to prevent or to help the, allow the Syrian government to play for time. And so, in effect, it's working in the Syrian government's favour. And indeed, we saw at the weekend that the people who were, seemed to be most content to let it stay in place were now the Syrian government, which I think tells you an awful lot. John Lyon in Cairo, thanks very much indeed.